Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. A lot of gangsters have an authority complex and it compels a lot of them to be enforcers, dealers or just out and out bad people who ruined the same areas they were raised in. William Billy Maguire was that type of person. Wherever he turned, he saw his bleak future a future that epitomised in order to be a somebody, you had to have a gang and take what was yours by force. Now Billy Maguire craved the attention of what came with being a gangster, so much so that even when the known was on bail, he was still committing crimes. Tragically, at the time of his brutal M, 25-year-old Billy Maguire, who was nicknamed Banger, was on trial for an attempted M after targeting a family's home. Growing up in a harsh terrain of Drum Chapel, Billy was surrounded by underworld figures. Now, Billy's own brother, Robert Maguire, had worked close with the Daniel family and had his own gang, called the Drum Boys. The Drum Boys, according to police, were a highly violent gang that was responsible for the importation of Class A gear, but for also, for numerous times, they pressed the trigger and also stabbed people in Drum Chapel, but also Clyde Bank area. However, according to Billy Maguire's own brother, Robert Maguire, Drum Boys were a brand, a business which is the name of a supercar rental company that Robert owned. On his inventory, Robert owned Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces and also Ferraris and of course he operated in Abu Dhabi. Now Robert also financed music videos which is important from grime rappers such as rapper Graham. Now in the music videos, Robert Maguire's murder was mentioned. Graham rapped, rest in peace Billy, we never pictured this, since you died, F the other side, we're sending out them 30 something quid every time they get, noting that Robert Maguire has never forgot what happened to his younger brother. Now as well as Billy idolising his brother, it was also rumoured that he idolised Kevin Gerbil Carroll, who acted as a hitman for hire. It was also said that Robert had a working relationship with Gerbil himself. Now it was also alleged that the members of the Lions clan had also taken Robert Maguire hostage and taken him to the back of a disused garage and given Maguire a Glasgow smile, which of course marked his face, a constant reminder of the lifestyle that he lived. Now because Billy idolised his brother, he ensured that he was more ruthless and more aggressive and often displayed the fact that he had a short fuse to the general public. For example, on October 3rd of 2019, Billy Maguire is said to have targeted multiple people at a house Knightswood, Glasgow, during an early morning disagreement. The 25-year-old had stood in front of the home and put his mask on before launching bricks and bottles filled with petrol. Once the windows were smashed, Billy tried to enter the home. The dad of three then pulled out his pistol and pressed the trigger at the home at least four times. On a separate incident in August and January of 2019, it was also alleged that Billy had gone to arrivals in the Drum Chapel area and then took out all the windows of the home with bricks and a metal pole. The motive for the incidents was control of the drug trade. Even when families were under the protection of the lions, Billy tried to disrupt the order of the thing, and especially disrupt the drug operations by targeting the houses and making sure business and also the selling of gear was stopped. Now soon Billy Maguire was classed as a problem in Glasgow, a big problem, and he had a lot of enemies plotting against him. In September of 2017, Billy Maguire armed himself with a sawn off with 32 year old David McLean and then went to a home in Lady Lone Avenue. Once there, CCTV showed a figure thought to be Billy Maguire housed the sawn off at the front door before pressing the trigger. He was then arrested and the incident was taken to court, but both men were able to get away. Because Billy was known to carry GUNs, people were afraid to anger or upset him and his brother, and he took that in stride. However, one comment would ultimately end Billy's life in such a cold way. On December 20th of 2020, gangster Billy Maguire, his mate John Higgins, had travelled to Angela White's home in Perth Crescent, Clyde Bank. While there, everyone was drinking and listening to music and talking as a party was underway. At some point during the festivities, both Billy and John decided to have a nap and they had fallen asleep. Now at this time, boxer Brian Folan 
and his mate Jordan Morrison were also at Angela White's home. While drinking, Brian Folan had confided in Angela White and says that Billy was a bit of an idiot and also classed Billy Maguire as a midget. Now later, John Higgins made a comment about Brian Folan's mum, which Brian did not like. That was the point that tension started flaring. It didn't help that later, Angela White also told Billy Maguire what Brian had said about him, being him being an idiot and also a midget. Now as I said, heads were hot and each man attempted to exert the dominance over the other. Now later, Corey Craig had arrived at the Perth Crescent address to pick up both Brian and Jordan. Before the men left, Billy Maguire tapped Brian on the shoulder, squeezing it and says, Make sure you're in your mum's tomorrow, I'm coming to see you. This was taken as a, and because tempers were still flaring and heightened by gear and alcohol, Brian Folan and John Higgins had sent text messages back and forth. Again, there were promises made of what they were going to do to each other when they seen each other next time. Now again, Brian and Jordan had left Angela White's place. They were taken by Corey Craig. Now after the phone call and the text messages, Brian decided that he was going to seriously maim Billy. He and Jordan Morrison asked Craig to take him back to Angela White's house and when they arrived they exited the car where Craig stayed behind in his Mercedes. Now both men put on their masks and then went back to the house to confront Billy Maguire. Now Jordan and Brian were tired of Billy's larger than life gangster persona. So at 11.45pm Brian Folan and Jordan Morrison re-entered Angela White's home. Now it's not known how they actually managed to get into the house whether the door was open or somebody else let them in, as again, this was a party. But with masks on and blades armed at the ready, they burst through the door and found Billy Maguire sitting on the sofa. Brian was fatally stabbed four times in the chest. John Higgins was also stabbed by Jordan Morrison in the same incident. The whole incident lasted just more than 30 seconds. Now, during the shocking incident, Angela White and her mate fled upstairs for refuge. Once Brian and Jordan escaped, Billy Maguire was heard to be screaming and shouting saying I've been stabbed in the heart. An ambulance was called for the two men and they were rushed to hospital. Tragically, Billy was pronounced dead the next morning. Jordan Morrison was in critical condition and he was suffering a lot of injuries, life-changing injuries, but somehow he managed to survive. Now Robert Maguire heard the news that his younger brother was dead while abroad and of course he came back. Now despite the fact that both Jordan and Brian had disguised their faces with a snood, police were able to pick out Brian Folan due to his athletic build of him being a boxer and also his distinctive tan. Now Corey Craig was also arrested by police and he accepted that he drove Jordan and Brian back to Angela White's home where the M took place. Brian Folan, who threw away a boxing career, was jailed for life for the M of Billy Maguire who was also told that he would serve life with a minimum term of 16 years. Now, Corey Craig was jailed for 11 years and 4 months. Again, this was for driving Jordan and Brian to their dress. And Jordan Morrison was jailed for 8 years and 6 months for an attempted M on John Higgins that night. Now, since Brian Fallon was jailed, there had been a £30,000 bounty on his head. It was then raised to £100,000. Now, one of the saddest things about the incident was that all these men were alike. They grew up in the same environment, suffered the same hardship and they knew each other, there were acquaintances, enough to be at the same party. But the judge did explain that Brian Folan and Jordan Morrison planned this to make an example out of Billy Maguire and John Higgins on that evening. This was premeditated M, and now Brian Folan has played the victim as he has to look over his shoulder forever now. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.